Hello, you all. just wanted to do a, I suppose, a quick catch up video really. I haven't posted anything over in uh, about a month, I think it's been. I don't see the point. <laughs> and after the last 20 minutes, I, I see the point in things even less, hence the title of this video, Just Give Up. You know, it's been one of them things, right? Whereas, it's just when everything gets on top of you, right? I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, you, you go to work and you have whatever BS going on there that you got to deal with and it gets too much and you can't see a way out of it. But at the same time, it's the one thing that puts a roof over your head, food on the table, you know, and it's uh, the thing is, it's. Uh, in some cases it's akin to a toxic relationship whereas some guys don't want to leave uh, a partner because I don't know maybe, maybe they, they don't think they can do any better or they can't see a life uh, without that person but when it comes down to I suppose jobs and employment it's kind of different you know and each job in any given, I suppose, category, will come with its own sets of uh, strains and issues. You know, this is one of the reasons why I say to people, I don't like people. This this is why, because you've got people in their bullshit to deal with. And some people just cruise on through life, not giving two fucks about anything. And I mean literally anything. Oh, I broke your shit. Oh, well, bye bye, fuck off, have a nice day. I don't care, right? That's all right for them, but meanwhile, someone else has to pick up them pieces, right? And for so many years, I've been one of them people that picks up the pieces, not just from workplaces, but also from, you know, just, just other, other situations around you. That's why I tend to uh, keep my uh, friends limited, right? <laughs> Right, I don't have a huge amount of friends because when when I did have a huge amount of friends, I realised that you could argue for a bit of a not not exactly a people pleaser, but it's like you don't want to see other people in a bad situation or a difficult situation, and if you can help out, you know, you, you try and find a solution or a remedy of some description. And for years, I, I did that for years. And I don't think it's something that you actually totally can get rid of unless, I don't know, maybe you have like a, a major life changing event happen, you know, and, and whereas you, you know, you, you just stop giving a shit about everyone around you sort of thing and anything, you know, like, like these people are, oh, I, oh, I broke your shit. Oh, well, bye bye. That's what happens. Have a nice day. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to have to invest more money or more time or whatever it is that it's going to take to get that solution dealt with right uh, I suppose it's the, the same you know like with the channel right and whereas I've been creating content since 2016 and I've never gained I think I've gained up up to about 640 subscribers at one point. And, you know, I've done the usual thing of what people say, oh, yeah, throw, you know, hashtags in the description and all that. And, you know, uh, for me, the, the channel hasn't been about fame. What I will say is I'm disappointed that in the time that I've been creating content, uh, yeah, to only garner the best part of 600 subscribers, it does seem like a bit, a bit of a, a kick in the balls, and out of them six hundred subscribers, I only get about thirty views per video if I'm lucky, right? And usually one or two of them views are yours truly, me, the first one. Like I said before, I check make sure that the audio's right and I'm happy with what I've uploaded, and the rest of it. Well, I, I don't. I'm not too fast. I'm not in this for internet fame. But I've also seen this in, in other um, content creators as well. Uh, channels within the Manosphere that aren't as popular as some of the others. And yet they also produce great content. And, and it's not all about 
going your own way or why relationships are bad or anything like that it's it, they're not even like i suppose misogynistic you know but obviously if, if you if you point apparently right apparently if you point out flaws within the air quotes fairer sex as it were then for some reason you, you can be seen as as misogynistic and say well no it's it's not it's not that you know, especially when it's an individual that talk about stuff that they've seen or stuff that they've experienced, you know, to have someone come along and like name call them and shame them for talking about such experiences, you know, it, it doesn't help anyone. It genuinely doesn't. And, you know, for a long time, in a way, the manosphere has been a place where guys can go out and, you know, I suppose, create a, create a channel and shout about their issues as it were or rant about their issues with modern society or modern women or whatever the case is right then you're always going to get the haters anyway you know the ones that come along and be like oh yeah you, you, your problem is you just can't get laid or what you need is a girlfriend and you've got all these other people telling you what you want and what you should have and what you need and all of this and so well the situations that they're in don't apply to them at that moment in time anyway so for them to tell anyone else how they how someone else needs to you know conduct themselves in their life is null and void <laughs> because they're not in the same scenario but then like i say you get others that you know go the extra step further and go as far as shaming name calling and all of that and after after today um i've, I've had I've had a long time of, of shit just generally over the, the last bunch of years and some people could be like well you need to change certain things in your life and it's like yeah I kind of agree but right and this is the but is when you haven't got uh, green, uh, greener pastures to go to right from where you're at just because of availability or you know or, or maybe there's something that you know you you don't want to deal with in particular you know it, it it puts you in a situation of like uh, i suppose total loss which doesn't do a, a great good a great deal of good for your mindset either you know if you're in a, um, a crappy job or a crappy relationship or whatever you know and like i say that the two do vary because at the end of the day uh, well to a degree right because obviously you know you've got to take into account the um the societal factors i.e cost of living going up you know some people or some guys don't earn enough to be able to live on their own they don't earn enough to you know uh, not not with one singular job but then it comes down to that thing of like well you start slugging yourself out you know like working two or three different jobs and knackering yourself out you know in some cases practically uh, in a metaphorical term and to avoid uh, or try and avoid the algorithm you know you, you end up practically not literally uh, unaliving yourself for the sake of what paying bills and then then you, you see the other stuff that goes on in life and you get like your news reels and all that and you know how maybe you want to maybe we should describe them as hardened criminals or maybe just criminals right and for some reason they seem to have an easier life that, than anyone that tries to stay on the straight and narrow so, you know <laughs> or you get these um you get the people that you know i mean maybe maybe some credit is due if they become air quotes master scam artists and that they've managed to scam the system you know, in this particular case, I'm talking about the um, the DWP, the Department for Work and Pensions, which deals with all your, you know, air quotes, entitlements to tax relief or tax benefits or whatever, or tax credits. You know, you got people that, you know, that they, they seem to be doing better than the average guy that goes out and works for a living. And yet these, these, these people just sit at home and do fuck all all day. You know, and then... Again, when it comes to, say you have a job where, it, you know, you, you require
required to be constantly tested um, just to make sure you know what you're doing. Now, in some cases, yeah, it's absolutely necessary. Places like, you know, the military, stuff like that, you know, they, they need to know that you're on a level head and you know how stuff works and you know what you're doing and you're not, you're not going to be a danger to A, yourself or B, the rest of the team, right? But then, like I say, when, when things get complicated because of a, a lack of understanding on the individual, you know, I'm, I'm going down the path here of like, you know, people with dyslexia or some form of uh, learning disability or whatever, or just misunderstanding, right? Because, you know, I don't know, you, you might be given a questionnaire where the wording is a little bit skew if and misleading. And as a result, you could end up, because of misleading questions, you know, you could end up not gaining the results that you you were expecting or that you'd hoped for or that you thought you'd get based on the experience and knowledge that you actually have. And like I say, when when all these things sort of mount up, you know, and this is how it throws people into a state of maybe despair and in some cases even a, a distaste even more for things being the way that they are, even though it's through no real fault of their own. You know, you can see how easy it happens in whereas it's like people just want to give up. Why do you think guys have given up on relationships, inter intimate romantic relationships? Juice ain't worth the squeeze. You know, a lot of the time it, it, it's a lot more headache getting involved with someone and trying to have a relationship um, that, than it is to, you know, to not have that. And all right, you miss out and you, you might get, you know, uh, jokes and, you know, shame shaming tactics used and you know i suppose having a piss taken out yeah on the basis that you don't want to conform with what everyone else is doing i.e having relationships getting married having kids fuck all that <laughs> fuck all that and it's right and it it's not that i've been in that situation of recent you know because i haven't I, I, i've I've had this mentality for a while now. It's like, whenever I have been in that situation, I've just been disappointed with what was presented to me initially with, I suppose, who they actually were at the end of it, which were two completely different things in some cases, you know. But yeah, you can sort of see how the sort of, I suppose, as far as the channel's concerned, which is primarily what I'm talking about, so I'm not in despair about it. I'm just disappointed. You know, you, you get offered a platform and then if, if you agree to, to jump through hoops and, you know, dance along to the to the theme tune that they want you to dance along to, then you'll do all right. But if you, if you talk slightly out against the things that are out there, because you know that they don't apply to everyone, you get seen in a different light and in some cases silenced and I suppose buried under the algorithm, which makes you think, well, what's the point in creating content in the first place? You know, is it that no one cares? You know, does no one actually give a shit? You know, another way to look at it, I've said it before, is maybe I'm monotonous uh, and boring, right? Okay, that's that's fair enough. And then you add in the other little factors like comments being deleted from subscribers, subscribers being unsubscribed from channels, and I suppose channels just being avoided from the algorithm in some cases. It does put you in that position of why bother carrying on when it's easier to fucking give up and just not fucking bother with it. Have that mental attitude of bye bye, fuck off, have a nice day, that's your problem, not mine, fuck you, stick it up your ass, no one cares. What's wrong with that? I'm starting to I'm starting to go down that path with a lot of things now, and I, you know. I, I just don't see the point. Because in in so many cases that i've seen it's like i've seen and known and been that guy that literally you know you try and hit a hundred percent for everything you know you, you try and do it by that i mean you you do your best you do the best that you can do and not not this half-hearted best that some people come up with as a lame excuse of they really couldn't be asked and failed anyway right at whatever the situation like whether it's trying to keep people happy, trying to keep customers happy, trying to keep friends happy, whatever. 
you know, so I often tell them, so I, well, how, how many craps do these people give about you? A lot of the time, it's not that many, you know, and yeah, with, with the way things are going, you know, that's where I'm at at the moment with the channel. It's like, well, maybe this is what YouTube wants. Maybe they want us all to just fuck off and go away. It's like, mate, you've got no idea how much we want you to fucking shut up and tell people, <laughs> ironically, a bit of fucking, you know, uh, well, shut up with the usual shit that you're chatting and allow other people to say what they want to say without fear of repercussion. But of course, now with, with that, you've also got laws out in Scotland, which have come out. I just don't want to make this a long video. I'm going to wrap it up in a minute, hopefully. But you know what I mean? You've got all these air quotes, hate speech laws and shit that have been coming out. That I think predominantly you're only going to affect one group of people, generally speaking. You know, the far right boogie monster. I will explain that. Oh, the far right, yeah, far right, far right, far, far right, fuck off with your far right shit. It's just something that's just, just something that they want to point the finger at and blame for the world's wrongs. When the, in, in, if truth was to actually be told and accepted, right? The majority of the problems were caused by others in the first place. I'm just saying. And I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, disregarding the fact that, sure, there are people out there that have a particular distaste for others, regard, you know, whether it's because of their gender, their culture, their background, the colour of their skin, whatever. I'm not, I'm not saying that them people don't exist. At the same time, it's like, it, it just seems like the, the, the wrong ones always seem to get maybe picked on and made an example of when it comes down to these laws you know we've seen a few cases over here in the uk and it's just sort of like this ain't about that is it this is about something else you know, there's another narrative going on but ultimately it sort of makes it's made me think well what's the fucking point anyway you know what's the point in creating content what's the point in talking to you guys what's the point in airing my thoughts and opinions when a, they're fucking buried under the algorithm. B, someone that is either slightly emotionally or mentally unhinged might decide to use them against another content creator for whatever reason. We've seen plenty of that in the manosphere as well. Plenty of content creators acting like fucking bitches. It, nothing that's been done to me, by the way. It's, it's just something that I've, I've noted in all the time that I've been a content creator. It's just, just these little man bitches seem to be everywhere within the manosphere and they're the same ones that are telling everyone to t telling these guys oh yeah you need to be a real man <laughs> what like you now you're all right uh so in the grand scheme of things i'm just sort of like is there any point in me carrying on creating content i don't think there is you know i, I don't think so like no one cares no one gives a shit i'm not getting any further i'm not it's not about personal gain it's not about monetary gain for me I've thought about it, but then, you know, so I, I don't think that's necessarily such a good thing either, but I don't know. Yeah, in all, I'm, I'm, you know, quite disappointed and just feel like generally giving up on everything because what's the fucking point? Yeah, e even life itself is it just, I mean, you could say, oh, yeah, it's your mindset that's at fault. And it's like, right, so you're telling me my mindset has been at fault. Despite the fact that all the times that I've tried to look for the positive in things, I've just been presented with nothing but bullshit. I can't escape that, right? I can't not see it once I've seen it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just sort of think, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it the right thing to be that quitter? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. At the same time, you know, with, with the manosphere and content creators for for that sort of a thing you're going to be going over the same old bullshit day in day out anyway and that ain't good for you so i don't know maybe, maybe i should just give up on a lot of things and just like fuck it all off and have that mindset of bye bye have a nice day fuck you it ain't my problem no i mean i know not everyone in the world is like that and i know it'd take a, a bit of a task for me to adopt that mentality and attitude and stick to it because that's not how I was brought up to be. But at the same time, it's like you get people taking the piss out of your good nature repetitively. And so, like, well, what's the fucking point? 
anyway thoughts comments and opinions drop them down until the next one stay cool well whenever the next one if there is a next one who knows peace out